Okay, so on this question, we are subtracting some fractions. And um, for the first step, let me some steps over here. Step number one is to factor denominators, specifically this one right here, multiply, add, multiply. I have to factor this denominator. Uh, so I'm going to do the two parentheses. And what multiplies x times x to be x squared? And what multiplies to be 12? What? Write it right here. What multiplies to be 12? Well, 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 4. And then what signs do we need? Well, remember how it works. What, what's in the middle is a negative 1. There's no, there's no number in the middle. Which always means it's a one and, and it's got a negative sign, so it's a negative one. So the sign in the middle always goes on the bigger number, doesn't it? Remember that rule? So it's negative four plus three, which makes negative one in the middle. And those multiply to be negative 12 because positive three times negative four multiplies to be negative 12. So there we go. There's, there's the factorization of that denominator. So let's bring that on down now. So bring down the first one and bring down the second one. So the first one is x minus one over x plus three. The second one minus three x plus 19. And now we factored x plus three, x minus four. Okay, so there's step number one. Now step number two is to multiply top and bottom Of, of, of every fraction. To make denominators the same, common denominator, right? Denominators the same. So <clears throat> that means I'm gonna go to this guy first off and multiply top and bottom of him by X minus four. And then, and and I'm going to do nothing, nothing needed, top and bottom, because denoms already, oops, didn't go already right there, already, already the same. Right, so, so all we have to do is multiply top and bottom of the first fraction by x minus four, and then the two denominators match. See how the two denominators are the same now? They match. So we have done what we need, so now, what are we going to do on step number three? For step number three now, um, we're going to combine into one fraction and combine like terms in the top. <clears throat> we'll make one big fraction. I have x minus y, x minus four right here. Right. The bottom is, is the, they both have the same bottom, x plus three, x minus four. Minus, let me do this carefully here. Minus. And then um, <clears throat> we have what? Minus. And oh, well, in fact, let's do it this way. This, this minus sign, remember, is going to go boom, boom, right? This minus sign here. So it'll be plus 3x minus 19. So remember, that's the easiest mistake probably in the whole course to make. It's so easy to make. The, the subtraction symbol in the middle, you're subtracting the whole fraction on the right, not just the front part. <clears throat> right? So it has to, that minus sign has to go to both of those. 
not just the front part. Okay. And so now, and then also, we're going to need to um, multiply this out right here. So this is go boom, boom. So what are we going to get there? We're going to get x squared minus y squared. Let me do another fraction here. Um, x squared minus y squared, and then boom, boom, minus x plus 4. Did you check with all that? And then plus 3x minus 19 over the denominator x plus 3, x minus 4. So I just distributed this at this x went to both, x squared minus 4x, and minus x plus 4, like that. All right, and then step number 4. Um, oh, we're, we're, well, we're still combined. Now we have to combine like terms in the top. So I'll do that. Okay. So x squared, first off, and then minus 4x minus 1x is minus 5, plus 3 is minus 2x. Did you track with all that? That was a lot of numbers. Minus 4, think about money. If you lose $4 and then you lose $1, you've lost 5. You gain back 3, you're down 2. You just use your calculator. Minus 4x minus 1x plus 3. It's just add, subtract, and calculate. And then the other two numbers, 4 minus 19 is minus, what is that, 15? Uh, yeah, minus 15 over the denominator x plus 3, x minus 4. Like that. Okay. Now, uh, now we need to factor the top. Factor the top. Try. Factor the top. Um, because we because we need to reduce now. And does the top factor? I believe it does. I believe it does. You remember the factoring thing? Multiply, add, multiply. All right. Let's see here. Bottom is just going to stay the same as plus 3x minus 4. The top, two parentheses, x times x in the front to multiply to be x squared. Uh, 5 times 3 on the bottom to be 15. And then the sign in the middle goes on the bigger, minus 5 plus 3. Yeah, minus 5 plus 3 makes minus 2. And then they multiply to be minus 15. That's right. Okay. Um, so try to factor the top and reduce, right? So at the very end, we can reduce here. We can cancel x plus 3 and x plus 3. And so we've got final answer then. We have an x minus 4 on the bottom. And we have the x minus 5 on the top. And that's really it. We're done. We don't need, we don't need parentheses anymore because there's nothing to separate them from. We can't cancel, oops, we can't cancel these X's because you can only, you can't cancel added, subtracted items, right? You know that. And so then that's, that's just it. This is our final answer. We're done right there. So what, what happened on this problem? Kind of recapping. From the beginning, we first had to factor this denominator because it wasn't factored. We factored it with the multiply, add, multiply. And then we, um, Multiply top and bottom of every fraction to make the denominators the same. So to multiply top and bottom by x minus 4. And didn't need to do anything to this guy because it already had the common denominator. Nothing needed because denominators are already the same. I just multiplied top and bottom of the left fraction by x minus 4. That's all that was needed. And now the, the right one doesn't need anything. He's already got the common denominator. They've already got the same denominator. So bring that down on the top. Uh, we had to multiply out these parentheses and just bring down the other. Don't forget that minus sign had to distribute, right? When you subtract fractions, you got to distribute everywhere to the upper right. And then we just combined like terms up here on the top. Back to this and last step, factor the top and cancel. And so there's our answer. Here we go.